Hey guys, it's Laptop Laura, and this is Copy That Pops. Writing tips and psychology hacks applied to online biz success. Whoa, oh, 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 here we go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Copy That Pops, where we look at how to apply writing tips and psychology hacks to improve our writing online for business. And today I've got a great and fast one for you. Actually, it's a turbo one for you. (laughs) I've got five turbo copywriting or copy wording hacks that I picked up at Marketing School Live in Los Angeles, which was a one-day conference networking seminar sort of thing, which was incredible, run by Eric Sue and Neil Patel. They're also the hosts of the Marketing School podcast, which I absolutely recommend you check out. They do really short, bite-sized marketing tips every single day, and they know their stuff. So at the event, one of the sessions was led by Eric Sue, who's the CEO of Single Grain, and he was talking with Yaniv Massietti, the CMO of Nextiva. They talked about a lot of different marketing things, but they ended up sharing five of their favorite copywriting hacks which are just quick, easy little phrases that you can start using or swap out to improve your copy. So here they are. Number one was to use the phrase the right way. So maybe you're writing a headline and you might say the right way to run Facebook ads in 2019. Or maybe you're picking a title for a video and it might say the right way to do push-ups to build strength and muscle, something like that, just depending on your industry. Number two is to use the laws of blank or even the X number of laws for blank. So maybe you're writing a blog article and you call it the nine laws of self-publishing your book on Amazon. There's just a gravity when you use the word law that makes it seem even more powerful and serious and legit. Number three is to use the word turbo, and that's why I put turbo in the title of this episode. Both guys just loved that. They thought it was a great word to kind of spice things up, and it's not really overused right now. So throw in the word turbo. Number four is it simply works. So maybe you're doing a really short description of a product or service, and you could throw in it simply works just a fast way to make people's brains just go, ah, I'm so glad it works and it's simple. I'm not overwhelmed. Cool. Let's go for it. And then number five is Eric and Yaniv recommended that instead of saying demo to say personalized webinar, and this might come a little bit more into practice with business to business companies that maybe reach out to an organization and say, we'd love to do a demo of our product or a demo of our app or a demo of a product, a service or something. So instead of saying, would you like to do a demo? Say, would you like us to put together a personalized webinar for your company or a customized webinar, or maybe even a customized short training, something like that. But they're like, demo is overused and no one wants to do a demo anymore. So switch that out, make it feel more personalized and customized and streamlined for what they want. Well, I hope those five turbo tips (laughs) come in handy. Start using them right away and let me know what you thought. I'm at Laptop Laura on all the social media channels. Talk to you again soon when we'll keep finding ways to write copy that pops. Thanks so much for listening. Let's keep the conversation going. You can find more at copythatpops.com and I'm at Laptop Laura on all the socials. Sometimes we find the greatest things in life when we don't try.